So let's talk about the Black Lives Matter movement, BLM, right? Oh man, this is going to be a fucking hot topic. So, sip a coffee before I get into it. So, Black Lives Matter. Now, watch this video of a young woman, a woman of color, in the United States say that we have, and I quote, she said, we have the right to burn down the cities that our ancestors and our people built. Okay. Well, let me tell you something, sweetheart. No, you fucking don't. And I'll tell you why. Because it wasn't you that built them. It wasn't you that paid for them. Neither anybody of your generation. Wouldn't you rather... To send a positive message, wouldn't you rather work very hard to preserve the history of your people, to preserve the history of your culture, to preserve the identity of your culture? Wouldn't you rather have that than destroy it? I mean, half of my family came from Portugal. And that would be like me taking up arms against the Portuguese and saying, I have the right to burn down everything that is Portuguese here in Canada, that the Portuguese built, that the Portuguese helped contribute to this country and its construction. I have the right to torch it because I have Portuguese blood running through my veins. I have Portuguese roots. Absolutely, I do not. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I've met a lot of Portuguese men and women that worked extremely hard, blood, sweat, and tears into constructing and shaping Toronto. And they take great pride in knowing that they built an apartment building or a condo or a national monument or something, a roadway, a highway. They take great pride in that because they were a part of it. And their name will forever be attached to it because they participated in that. And that is a sense of pride that you cannot take. But why the fuck would you want to burn it? I would want to work hard to preserve it, knowing that I had family or friends or somebody possibly related to my bloodline build that that a part of me a part of my roots a part of my culture a part of my identity help built that why would i want to fucking burn it if people were going nuts about the portuguese and all this shit i would fight to protect it because the portuguese helped build canada and they are just as much Canadian as the next fucking Joe Blow. So why would you want to burn it? And you say you have the right? <laughs> no, you don't. Just because you are you are a person of color does not mean you are judge, jury, and executioner. Work hard to preserve your history so the future does not make the same mistakes as the past did. That's the point of history is that we learn from our mistakes that is why we have history books that is why we have historians that is why we have documents that's why we record so then that future generations can look on our fucked up past and say hmm yeah we've already done that um, let's not do that again let's find a different way that's the point of history so that future generations don't make the same mistake. There's a good old-fashioned saying where I came from. It's okay to make a mistake, but the point of making a mistake is to learn from it and evolve and not make it again. So why would you want to burn America? Black people have such an enriched history in help building that country, regardless if they were slaves or not, they have a rich history in building America. Wouldn't you want to 
Wouldn't you rather honor those who died building America than torch the history and the very foundation in which your culture has roots in? <laughs> Does that make sense to you? <laughs> People, stop being angry. Okay? Just stop it. Looting, rioting, hurting others because you're pissed off at a subject that you have nothing to do with that has nothing, literally nothing to do with you. You say racism exists in America? Okay, fine. Racism does exist in America and I'm willing to acknowledge that. It exists here in Canada too. But racism is not tied to a culture. It's tied to an individual. Racism is a choice. It's not a birthright. It's a choice. Plain and fucking simple. So get off your fucking high horse. Because I'll tell you something. You really want to get down to the nitty gritty? Black people and white people and Hispanic people and people of all different shapes and colors can be equally as racist as their next door fucking neighbor. Okay? At one time, the Portuguese were racist. If you weren't Portuguese, you died. The Italians were racist at one time. If you weren't Italian, you died. The Germans were racist at one time. If you weren't German, you died. Okay? So black people have the potential, the very real potential, to be as equally as racist as a white person. Or as a Portuguese person. Or an Italian person. Or Chinese. Or Japanese. It doesn't matter. Racism is a choice. It's an individual choice. It's a mindset. It's not the color of your skin. Your skin does not define if you're going to be racist or not. Just because I'm white doesn't mean I'm racist. Just because you're black doesn't mean you're racist. Racism is all about a choice. It's all about your brain making that choice. You making that choice. It's a mindset. That's all it is. So if you want to teach arrogance, ignorance, and selfishness, and complete and total disrespect for your neighbor to the next generation, which are your children, or family members, or whatever, if you want to teach that, guess what? That type of mindset carries on. But again, we have the choice to stop it. How do you stop racism? You stop talking about it. You stop teaching it. And you just get along with people, regardless of their skin color. So racism is not about, racism is not tied to your skin color. Just because you're white doesn't make you racist. Just because you're black doesn't make you racist. What makes you racist is the choice to be racist. That's it. Right? There you go. My eight minute rant is over. Stop burning shit down. Stop pissing on cops, okay? Oh, and let's just add this, okay? That George Floyd incident, that wasn't a police officer that made that choice. It was the individual who chose to kill George Floyd. I work, or excuse me, I stand with police officers. I stand with cops, first line responders, or uh, front line responders. I stand with them. Why? Because without cops civilian life in the cities and suburbs and rural areas could not exist. It, it couldn't. Cities and towns and countries and provinces and states would tear themselves apart. And let me tell you something, all you anti-gunners that are so against cops right now and you're so liberal and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me tell you something. If cops cease to exist, I know the very first fucking thing you would run for you would run to get a fucking gun. A handgun, a rifle, a shotgun, a bazooka, it doesn't matter. You would run to get one. Why? Because you would want to protect your family. Because if somebody else threatened your family, you're going to need something to protect yourself with. And a fucking pogo stick is not going to do it. So, there it is. Stop burning America. Stop disrespecting cops. Okay, because let me tell you something. Cops are not racist. It's the individual behind the uniform that makes it makes them racist, okay? They make the choice. That cop that killed George Floyd ceased being a cop the second that he chose to ignore George Floyd's plea 
for his health and safety. He ceased representing what that uniform stood for. Same with every other cop on the force across America and across Canada. The second that they make a choice to ignore the health and safety of others, the, ch the second that they choose to ignore their sworn oath, they cease being a cop right on the spot. So it's not the uniform. So stop blaming the uniform and start blaming the individual. Place the blame where it needs to be. Don't place the blame on the obvious or the easiest thing that you see. Just quit it.